Hello, my name is Edison Oliveira and I will present this video for DNNHere.com on how to set up an affiliate marketing program on your .NET Took website. So here, here's my uh, live website and I decided to, to do the, to make this demonstration in my live site because I can send and receive emails. Everything is set up, uh, again, in terms of SMTP of my site because it will be required for what we're going to be trying to do. Now, I'm already logged in as host in my website and to be able to set up an affiliate program, first of all is that you have to find, you have to find a, a company that is willing to send traffic to your website from their websites, that uh, a company that is willing to put uh, maybe a banner, maybe a link in their site that when someone clicks in their, in their, in that link, that uh, person will be redirected to your website and this is and this is where we need to track that that visitor is coming from that affiliate because you may have to pay some money according to the agreement that you have with your uh, affiliate uh, companies you may have to pay some money to them to send traffic to your site now let's let's go and and get to the details of how to do that basically on, on both admin and host levels of your website there is an option that says vendors so you can see vendors under admin and you can see vendors under host as well now the the, the main difference is that a vendors under host will be applied uh, throughout all the different portals of your website and vendors under admin will be only vendors particular to this portal of your of of, of your website so uh, just for the sake of our demonstration let's let's do it via by the host option so let's go under host vendors so the first thing that you need to do is you need to create the vendor here you need to create the the affiliate company that you want that you will be working with and and for the sake of our demonstration let's say that we are advertising in .netnook.com website. So let's add a new vendor and we're gonna create uh, the vendor here which will be called .netnook. I'll call it .com and first name, last name. Again, this is uh, just for the sake of testing. So let's say that this is Sean Walker and email address. This is the email address of, of, of them. In our case here, I'm just going to put my own email just so I can receive the notification and I can show you that as well. All this information is optional. You can see that the checkbox is unchecked here. We can leave it as is. And the website is the their website. Okay, so this is the vendor. I'll click update. Perfect. So now we have our first vendor, our first affiliate company uh, listed in our .NET website. Now we need to, to set up an affiliate program for this vendor. So you're going to go back uh, to edit the, the vendor. And we're gonna go to the affiliate referrals. Now there there is still banner advertising which I'll not cover in this video, but I'll cover in a little in another one. For now, we're gonna just focus on affiliate refers. So uh, under affiliate refers, let's click on a new affiliate. We can set a start date and end date for for this affiliate to to um, for the for the affiliate deal. So let's say that this will go from the first. To the 30th of July. So here's basically what is the cost per click? What is it? Uh, how much will you pay to them for sending you uh, a visitor? I'll put it, let's say, one cent here to send you a visitor and cost per acquisition. Again, this is this is optional, and this is the uh, price that you're gonna be paying in case the visitor will convert into a member of your website. So let's say that we're going to pay them 10 cents. So 1 cent 
to drive the traffic and 10 cents in case the, the visitor converts to a member of, of the website. Now, you can click update. Actually, let's go back there. Here's the affiliate referral. And let, if we click on send notification, what will happen here is that an email will be sent to that email that we have specified under the, the vendor account, uh, giving them the URL that they should uh, use to direct traffic to your site. And that URL will have an ID of their affiliation with us. So again, by that ID, we know that that, tra that uh, visitor or that member is, is coming from their website. So here is uh, an email, how the email looks like that they will receive. So again, this is a test that I have done before, but this is the one that I have done just now. So here is the affiliate link that in our case, .NET Nook would have to place our, uh, in their website, this link pointing to our site. So as you can see here, you can see affiliate ID equals to two. So this, this will basically uh, indicate uh, and record that a visitor coming from .NET Nook with that affiliate ID, we know that this, the, 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 the user or the visitor is coming from .NET Nook, so we can track that back and we can pay them accordingly. Now let's go back to the website and let's click update here. As you can see under affiliate refers, we have the start date and date, the click, uh, cost per click, which is one cent. Under, under, under clicks column, it says how many clicks were uh, done, which at this point zero. The total cost per click, how many conversions, uh, what is the cost per conversion, uh, cost per acquisition, how many acquisitions were done at this point, and the total cost per, per acquisition, acquisition. Now, let's, let's try this. Let's, let's do a couple of examples. And again, we have to reach the website by using this link so the website can track that this came from .NET Nook. So let's log out from the website. And what I'll do is I will copy this link just to simulate that I came from, from the link in .NET Nook's website to our site. So I'm just going to click a new tab, put the link up there. And again, this is already one visitor. Uh, I'm just going to call the page again. So now we have two visitors once again. We're going to have three visitors and I'm going to convert the, the second one. So I'm just going to click login here and I'm going to click register. And this is a test, test, test. So we have registered the websites. So the information that we should have there now is that we, we should have three clicks and one acquisition. So let's check that. To check, we're going to have to log in as host again. Okay, so I'm logged back in as host. Let's go to host vendors and let's go to our vendor.netnook and go to affiliate refers. So as you can see, we have three clicks, but zero acquisition. I will record another video, just a focus on acquisitions in another opportunity. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.